You're welcome to comment on this uh, pretty sweet ride I've got. I like it. It's sort of a granny's car, the Corolla, but what I mean. Are, what is it? Oh, Corollas, but they're pretty, they're becoming more and more popular because they're so safe and they last for years. That's, yes. what I've, that's what I've heard anyway. Yeah, exactly right. We'll get these windows up. They um, last a long time. A safe car. Mm. I think this is a 20, 2021. Oh. So it's, we'll call it brand new. All right, let's go for a quick ride. Yeah, okay, so I'm, I'm Danny from Be Digital. Yeah. Um, and I've known you a little while. Yeah, not too long. I've heard of Be Digital. Um, I know you from Christchurch, and mm. you were born here, weren't you? I was born here. Yeah. Um, have a lot of uh, ancestry here. My grandmother was Naitahu, so oh. so there's a whole lot of um, like hundreds and hundreds of years of around here. Hundreds, hundreds of years of, of uh, ancestry in Akaroa. Oh, I, I didn't know this, but in, in Akaroa, um, yeah, there is a a Mariah out there, isn't there? Onuku, that's the one. Onuku, yeah, and yep. from what I know. That was the one where the Treaty of Waitangi was signed in the South Island. And it was my great-great-great-great-grandfather who signed it. There you go. He was the chief of the Naitahu in Akaroa. See, I wouldn't have picked you as um, part Māori no. or... and it's because my... Because um, every one of... Actually, every Māori ancestor since then, yeah. up to my father, yeah. has married an Irishman. So you're, <laughs> so, so you're more Irish than you are... Both. No, or pretty much. Pretty Irish Māori so ancestry. Yeah. It's quite common... In New Zealand, to talk about mental health, it's quite common to talk about other people's mental health. No one talks about their own. Exactly, and that's uh, that's the issue. Everyone, yeah. everyone says we should talk about mental health, but yes. then they don't. Yes, and and I think it's because <clears throat> it's an issue, but nobody ever thinks they've got an issue. Kind of with the alcohol, alcoholics don't think they're alcoholics. A lot of them, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and let's go and um, just people with issues don't have issues, and it's like other countries. At least that I've been to, mental health isn't even a thing. It's like, what's mental health? But mm. we have like a big, let's call it statistic issue, and then we sort of promote mental health, but it's like, he's got issues, he's got issues. It's never, I've got issues. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Christchurch handled it so yeah. well. And the reason I think it was God. is because mm. the earthquake gave us the shock. COVID yeah, came possibly. along, and it's like, oh, no problem. Look at Auckland. They're protesting about wearing masks. I mean, I don't know whether masks save life or not, but... Why take the chance? Yeah. It's a it's a very small price to pay, right? Very small price to pay, and by them protesting, it'll cause more trouble <laughs> than it's worth. But, you know, we, our laws, they can protest if they want to. And if, it's just ludicrous the things other places happen. But Christchurch, I think, since the earthquake sort of come together, True. we'll go do this interview on your business. But uh, what do you think of the ride? What do you think of my driving? What do you think of the car? Great car. Great car. Yeah. At Be Digital, we do uh, many forms of marketing, general marketing, as in flyers and pamphlets and things, but we also specialise in websites and lately a lot of e-commerce websites. Um, a lot of people are doing more and more online now since uh, the lockdown. Yeah. Um, so that's what we've been doing a lot of. Started off as Be Consulting, and there was business efficiency and effectiveness. Yeah. And then when Laurent came on, they started the branch of the offshoot which is B Digital yeah. and the B doesn't really mean anything in the digital sense. We specialise in the design of uh, websites, especially e-commerce websites. Uh, we've done a lot since lockdown of e-commerce sites for people who want to start selling online. Yeah. Um, we have uh, our great design team that come up with a lot of the concepts and um, basically your website needs to make you money so that's what we do. There's two, two ways your website can make money, you can actually sell stuff online. Yeah. Uh, the other way is just to um, use it to get yourself more clients. So when people Google an electrician, for example, yeah. um, an electrician in Christchurch, your yeah. website pops up. If you haven't got one, everyone else's website's going to pop up and they'll get all the work. SEO is a big part of that. Um, 
what we tend to do is build a lot of the SEO into the website itself by using the right words and phrases throughout the website. But then there is some more you can do after that as well. We need to know what, what they want, why do they want their website. Um, some people we do websites for, they want to get information out to their clients. Other people just want to make themselves known so that when people do a search for them, they come up as one of the options. Um, I'll give you an example. We're doing a, a website at the moment for a builder and throughout his website on every page we use the name of his business on every page we use the words building maintenance repairs renovation so that whenever anyone's searching for any of those words he's going to be high up the google rankings that's something we do um, as we build the website we did one for um, some worm farmers who are now a lot busier than they were and they've actually been able to expand their business into something much bigger now um, and that's because they, can, they now have a website they can direct people to, a website that tells everyone all the benefits of, of the products they sell and they've got an online store there if anyone wants to buy it online. A lot of people in the trades aren't good at writing their own content yes. and, and, that, and that's, there's nothing wrong with that, right? Yeah. We write content for people, they, uh, I certainly don't mind if they come back and say, look, I don't quite like the sound of that, can you change it? That's fine, I'm happy with that. Yeah. Um, but sometimes we go back to them and, and they go, yeah, that's brilliant. That's exactly what I've been trying to say, but, but I'm a tradesman, not a writer. When we've done consulting for people, we found that most of the time what they really need is marketing. Um, so that's why we've, one of the reasons we've started doing marketing as well. So most, of the, uh, yeah, most of the help people needed was marketing. Yeah. Um, because a lot of people see marketing as an expense when you, it's actually something you need to do to, to make money. We've ended up doing a lot of um, marketing for people who were originally consulting clients. Some people will spend a fortune on uh, various types of advertising when there's some actually some relatively cheap online forms of advertising. We can look at which Facebook posts have been seen the most and what times of day they get looked at the most so we can target certain areas. Um, we had a client, for example, and we noticed most of her posts were seen at 11 p.m. at night, which is unusual, but that's okay. We just started targeting for that time. We'd start posting her stuff about 8 o'clock, so it was all there when everyone came on at 11. But a lot of people at night these days spend their time on Facebook and Instagram. Yes. And if, for example, you are a building company and someone's looking to buy a house, they'll be sitting there at night looking through their Facebook, looking at plans, looking at who's around. They'll notice ads more from building companies if yes. they're actually looking at building yes. a house. Yes, and so you can choose who your viewership is. Right? Yeah, yeah, we can also pay a little bit to, to target people who are interested in house house plans, house building. Christchurch is a big area, so we yes. can target just Lincoln, target just Rolleston, target West Melton, target the, the central city, Rangiora. Target moms, you can target retirees, we can target by target age, children. You can target by age group. Yes. And by interests. And by gender. And by gender. And location. Yep. If we were doing an ad for someone, for a, a car company, mm -hmm. we would target people with cars. Yes. And it would come up with you. If you don't like cars, it wouldn't come up with you. The website we've, we're just starting at the moment is for a medical centre, which is over in, uh, around North New Brighton area. They want to target uh, new clients in the area, obviously, because no one from for example, no one from Rolleston is going to go to a medical centre in North New Brighton. So we're doing a new website for them. When it comes time to promote that website, we'll be promoting it to people who live within around 30 kilometres of the, of the medical centre. Yeah. Especially families, especially mums and especially the elderly. On a website, we try and sell the end product. The end product is not the car. It's being happy in the car. I was born here, I've always lived here. Yeah. Um, a lot of people think that's strange, but I've just never had any need to go anywhere else. Um, I started off working in a few different business roles in production management, manufacturing management, uh, quality management, security management, um, and then slowly moved into a bit of business consulting. Um, I found with that that a lot of people just needed marketing. So I hooked up with B Digital and I now work in marketing. Uh, I'm also at the moment studying for a business degree, um, which will be finished this year, and I'm majoring in strategic 
management. So there'll be a bit of uh, being able to help people with their forward planning as well. Like I've always lived here and I used to love the old Christchurch before the earthquakes, but the new Christchurch is even better. And, and uh, it's, um, it's great wandering around town now, just seeing things that I'd never noticed before. I love the new movie theater. I think it's a great idea. All the restaurants around the bottom um, and the comfortable seats. Um, I love all the new bars now along Oxford Terrace. I love um, just walking around the city. It just looks so much nicer than it used to, in a different way. Like we love the fact that we did that website for the worm fertilizer place and now they're expanding their business. They've gotten so busy, that's brilliant. We've done a, a job just recently for an irrigation company and he's been telling everyone and he's getting all his friends to call us about getting a new website and it's brilliant. And he's, yeah, and he's loving it. He loves his, he's got work off it already. I don't know if I told you that, Ron. He's got work off that new website already. Someone who just Googled him and came, found the website and said, yep, I'll ring him. So that's paid for his website. <laughs> just, so, Look at that. yeah, anything now's a bonus. So we do have some websites where we've, um, we have had people who um, didn't think they could afford it or were just starting out and had very little income. So. We'll do a website for them and they'll pay it off a little bit each month for 12 months and in that time, so we do the website right at the start for the next 12 months, uh, we do any updates they want on it, they are benefiting from it for that whole 12 months and they've got a really nice website that they might have thought they couldn't afford before. But we don't want to do a website for someone and then find out that a year later they've gone bust. <laughs> we want them to actually do really well. They become friends, some of these people. Shane's a friend, Phil, the Wormfurt people, you know, they're good people.